Hey guys, how you doing? Okay, uh, I went shopping, went a little nuts. I uh, went and bought myself a new uh, coffee machine, which is in the kitchen. That's still going to be unboxed yet and played with. I don't know if we'll really look at that, but I'm replacing the one that I've got out there. Uh, this, would you believe, is a computer monitor. It's a uh, Samsung Odyssey uh, CRG9. It's 49 inch, and <laughs> I can't believe a monitor is nearly the height of me. Well, I'm not very tall anyway. But we'll get into this, grab something else. Also grab this uh, for out here in the man cave. Uh, rather than just a kettle, it's a hot water dispenser. So what that'll do, that'll just replace this kettle. So I've been looking at one of these for a long time now. So, well, now I've got one. Also, I had a delivery. I had a delivery from Sheen. Um, let's have a look at what's in here first. Then we'll start breaking into this stuff and have a look. Yeah. <laughs> can uh, kind of remember, sort of remember what I got, I think. So, I don't know. Oh, let's have a look. Okay, uh, oh, this is a wallet. Now, I needed a new wallet because mine has been through the washing machine and the dishwasher. So, I've had it for a long time. So it was time for a, a new wallet. Oh, okay. So, eh, I know, I'll get my cards and all that. Fill this up, should fit up. Actually, it's a little bigger than I thought it was gonna be. But, mine's totally fallen apart. So, there we go, I needed a new wallet. Junk, junk. All right, some more bling bling for my wrist. There, so I don't know. Oh, a bit more there. Actually, that's a bracelet. Yep, bracelet, bling bling for the wrist. There's another chain for, you know, down around the pants. Speaking of pants. Oops, some new pants. So let's put this on and have a look. Okay, there we go. Uh, pants not too bad. I don't mind them. Got some um, belt things down here at the bottom. Got the chain on. Yeah, looks all right. Don't mind this necklace either. It's got a... Uh, what have we got? Sort of, some sort of wolf or something or other on it. I put a couple of those on, not all of them. Come with there quite a few, but I don't know, this turned out alright. Alright, let's get this thing unboxed and have a look. Alright, well, first up we'll have a look at this uh, Westinghouse instant hot water dispenser. Okay, shush. Okay, reading material. Just, you know, a little doohickey there. Just the manual and Interesting reading material. Fantastic. Uh, it's not very heavy, doesn't weigh a lot. Okay. All this is, just like that bloody thing there, this is just more cardboard to get rid of. How many times, how many times have I said more cardboard to get rid of? Uh, let's upside down this chain. More rubbish. Peeling the plastic. Ah, crease. Look at that. Okay. More plastic. More plastic. Obviously, I'll give this a clean out before using it, but we'll plug it in and see what comes up on the display there. I don't know if it'll do anything or whatever yet. I've been looking at getting one of these for a while, but uh, here we go. Okay. That's great. 
No only E7 means a problem. Okay. Well, I like that. Lights and buttons. Lights and buttons. So apparently you need all this information just to boil hot water. So that milk, temp, volume. Wow, this comes with a volume. Um, coffee, tea, lock, and what? Oh, start, stop. Obviously, I'm going to fill it with water first. Um, but yeah, this is better than just a normal kettle, as far as I'm concerned, anyway. All right, now what I've done is I threw, uh, cleaned it out, put in some water, so I plugged this in, popped the, uh, the, well, the water part in, and that pretty much should be good to go. Oh, God, hang on. I can't find the hole. Where's the hole? Continuing problem I have. Don't have a shit fit. It's down there. Pop the lid on. Somehow. That's it. Somehow. Of course I do it backwards. Why wouldn't I? Okay, it's there. Ah, pretty as a picture. Alright, see uh, how well the water comes out. Let's put on a, use a Pink Floyd cup, unlock it. Hmm, what have we got here? Oh no, 200, temp, I know, 65. Let's start, see what happens. Now this is the first run, and it's running. Isn't that spectacular? Obviously with the temperature I'd have it hotter for a cup of coffee, but just give it a bit of a run here. That's all the 200 mils was? And I want my mils up a bit higher than that. So far, happy with it. Perfect for me. Great, good stuff. Yeah. Let's move over to that little tiny yeah, monitor. Right. Pull this, uh, pull this thing out. Might be not if I get rid of this monitor. Funny, monitor, monitor. Funny. Uh, when I bought this, I thought this was a rather large monitor. It's curved. Um, it's Kogan. That Samsung. Uh, this has suited me well for probably about three, four, about four years. Um, I don't know what to do with it. Either keep it or put it on the marketplace and sell it. I uh, like the other coffee machine we've got because uh, I've got a Breville coffee machine with a separate grinder. Um, the one I just bought, it's all in one and it's got a touch pad on it. So there's no buttons, it's all on screen display. Um, so I might put the other one of that on the marketplace so I have no use for it. I used to have the old one, that one out there. Uh, yeah, so I've got to remove this. See, I, I used to think this was a big monitor compared to this one. No, I hope this is going to fit. You know, when you get to the point you think, did I just go too far? All right then, let's bring it down and open it up. Now, I believe, or I think, this arrow is pointing that way, so I'm going to assume this is the top. Nothing specifying what the top is. But, let's open her up. Okay. Bet anything, this is the bloody, this will be the bottom. Bet anything. No, I think I've done it right. That's weird, you never do anything right. Alright. Now, that's that bit. What have we got? Okay, in here, this beautiful, all different types of leads. This is unusual, you never get a HDMI lead. But there'd be a HDMI lead, a power lead, and a display port lead. Uh, and this little jewicky thing, this is what snaps on the back of it, as far as I know. But we'll get to that. Alright, the stand. Now I'm going to put the stand together, 
and probably take this off, put the stand on it, that way I can tilt it up and we'll see what's, uh, that way I don't have to struggle trying to lift the screen now by itself because it's not exactly light. Okay, just to let you know, this piece here is quite heavy. Um, obviously this is a piece that, uh, which side would it be? Uh, that would be what goes under the monitor, and this certainly has quite a bit of weight to it, obviously to hold the weight of the monitor. So that's the one I had. There's a grinder thing there, and this is the new one. It's all touchscreen or something here. What happens if you go across? Oh no. But anyway, that's the new one. Gonna make a copy and see how we go. Okay, under first time use, this says grinding and dozing. Whatever the hell dozing means. Oh no. See what happens. Press grind and push and release. Push grind. Okay. Oh, grinder. What? Oh, wait, what? That didn't work. I think I fucked it up. Wait, go back. First time use, that's the problem. Okay, while that gets figured out inside, I'll continue out, <laughs> out here and wait for my coffee. Now, to put this stand on, I watched a couple of videos. I don't want to read the manual because the manual uh, it says quick setup guide, Hong Dang Li T Fu. Then you go into the actual instructions, caution, Tang Tong, I, I, Japanese or something or other. I don't know. But, as far as I can tell, this just goes on there, and there are little doohickeys here, just to tighten it, which is what I will do. Okay. Alright, that's the stand there. And as far as I know, this thing comes off, or it adjusts. I really do need to, I do need instructions that aren't, that are in English. Okay. I'm just, this is, this is just guesswork right now. Oh, that's, just put your headphones on. I don't need it for that. Go back in there. I don't want that. Anyway, I'll figure it out. Alright, well let's take out the styrofoam. Uh, more things to bloody get rid of. Okay, and obviously here's the monitor here. And it's going to work out. Uh, I'm going to connect that so I can lift it to get it off. What is that? There, okay. And it comes with screws, so a couple of screws are going to go in. But anyway. Now there's a bit of a lip, so I guess that goes in the lip there. And down, oh the screws are already there. Get a screwdriver and I'll give it a screw. Okay, now the part I'm actually um, dreading. So get this, and get this out on its feet or on its foot. Be nice, be nice. Right, got the box off. Oh, more junk to get rid of. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll pop her up and then take that bit off. All right, all right, okay. Holy shit! That's big. Uh, 
That's really big. And would you believe I am not a gamer? I mean, honestly, how do you watch porn? Okay, that fun bit, I'm peeling a bit of plastic off which is here somewhere, I can get it somehow come on I will get it ah, there we go light off a new phone, there we go come on, nearly there ah, there we go these are six big controls are under here there's a little nipple bit how dare you! Which is like a front, back, whatever. I'll have to wait till it's turned on before I can start fiddling with that. Let's see what happens. Okay, if you have a look here, there was a little, I didn't film it, but there's a little plastic piece that's splitting two and just covered there because there's a LED in here. So whatever is showing on the screen, it replicates that on the back wall. Kind of like if you had LED strips around uh, a TV, this pretty much does it for you. Now what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to take out the old one and put in the new um, it's not HDMI, it's HDMI but the display um, display cable I'll get it out I also got this lead uh, strange looking lead here and I think it's supposed to make the monitor a USB 3 hub whatever the hell that means don't ask me, I don't know maybe I should plug it in I don't know what the hell that does because <laughs> Look, I'm looking, I'm looking on bloody YouTube. I don't have a monitor to watch, so I've got to look on YouTube on my phone. And I'm trying to follow along with that because I don't know what this is. But, uh, oh, I took the back plastic off so it's to run cable management. So everything gets plugged in here and runs down, obviously. I should show you that, actually. Okay, put a light on. So, ah, where are we? They're, they're the inputs um, under there, your HDMI's the um, display port, that USB thing, power. Where is the power? Because I've got to plug it in. <laughs> Where's the freaking power? Oh, power's over here. Okay. And everything else is over there. Okay, now what I managed to do, which was that USB lead was a bitch to get in. Um, got it in here. It's poking out the, the bottom here for a bit of cable management. And there's a piece that goes on here. just to make it look a little cleaner you watch how this will be a bitch to actually get this thing on guaranteed okay after a bit of buggerizing around if you have a look here I did have it upside down I thought it was going down here obviously when you put the flap on it goes to the top so the legs go out and under so you don't see it under here of course I got it backwards, why not? Okay, that was a bitch. Uh, <laughs> I got it plugged in, got the legs running. Now nothing's obviously calibrated, I haven't even turned it on yet. Uh, now this little nibbly thing, if I do that, just see if anything comes up on the screen first. Okay, nothing. All right, so I'm going to turn the computer on. So display port one, and let's see what happens. Now nothing's been calibrated, so I'm assuming it's not going to fit the screen properly. I know there's a few doohickeys within the display under here to play with. Um, language. Hang on, it did do the whole thing. I've got a setup guide, so I'm going to go through that. Okay, well. That happened, but how well, how, like how thingy is it going to be? Well, it, well, shit, it all fitted. Hang on, I'll turn this light off. Might be able to see just a little better. I don't know, but it actually fitted. This is a monster. There's no way it's probably calibrated itself. It couldn't have. So I get dead. I'm going to YouTube. There's no way it's going to thingy. I could probably um, zoom her in. Wow! Wow! Jesus! 
Check that out. Oh my god. It is a monster. Click on the Steel Panther. There's no way it's going to be uh, a full screen. Okay, the sound bar didn't turn itself on. Um, yeah. Because I mean, YouTube doesn't go in that, so it looks rather small like that. But, I mean, you can always snap it, I guess. And then do something on this side if you wanted to. Anyway, this is for me to be playing with. Uh, just wonder actually this program that I use, they've got to be moved. They've got to be over here. So it's not calibrated or nothing yet. Right, I'll play with that in a sec. I use this program a lot uh, for music and all that. Just want to see. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. It does. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. But. I think it looks cool. Now, if we have a, a look at this, you can see the curve that's actually in it. It even looks good from the, the side. It's just the program that I run and it is a monster it's huge I absolutely love it but as I said what do you watch porn on all right guys well uh, that's it for this video I've got some mucking around to do obviously with this um, yeah I really love me I love me new kettle thing there turn on your grip there we go I love me new kettle thing where are we where are we I don't know where we are. I like that. I like displays, buttons, lights. I like all that sort of thing. All right, well, that's it for this video. And I got my new attire um, that I'll wear at some point. I don't know. Got Motley Crue coming up at the end of the year. So I'll probably wear these pants, I don't know. All right, guys, enjoy yourselves. I'll catch you next time. See you later.